going to look at uh, three of the main artifacts. So the product backlog, the sprint backlog, and the burn down chart. So product backlog, very simply, um, it is a collection of um, requirements from the business. And they are written in terms of what are called user stories. So uh, for example, as a teller, I want to be able to find clients, the last name, so that I can find their profile faster. Okay, so um, we'll take a, a closer look at the technique of stories um, as we close. But these uh, stories, user stories are in place that define the role, what I want to be able to do, and why. So as a system admin, that's your role, I want to be able to configure user settings, what you want to do, so that I can control access. So what do you want to achieve there? And we'll also talk about story points. So story points are what help us to understand um, um, velocity of the team. So um, how many story points can a team achieve um, and uh, historically and what can we commit to? Um, again, I will talk a little bit more about estimating those story points because there's no hard science to this. It's about estimating. And then we've got some techniques for estimating those story points. But really simply, the product backlog is a prioritized list of user stories. Um, and remember, the role that does the prioritization uh, and owns and is accountable for this product backlog is the product owner. Okay. This product backlog is then input to the sprint planning session, and in the print sprint planning session, they decide, they pick items from the product backlog, and these become items in now what's called the sprint backlog, because these are the items we're going to address in the sprint backlog. And that's where they take the stories from the product backlog item and break them down into more detailed tasks. And each of those tasks really shouldn't last longer than two days. If they are, then you need to break it down even more. There's a lot of breakdown happening here um, so that you can get people assigned to deliver um, effectively in that time frame of the sprint. The task board itself should be um, visible, whether that's through an online tool like a Trello um, or uh, any visible Kanban uh, a tool. So Kanban means to do, doing, done. Just think of it as a big board with a bunch of sticky notes on it. It can also be like a very visible board in the scrum room if you have the luxury of having your scrum team all together in a room, which is, of course, the ultimate, most highly recommended approach for running a scrum. But reality dictates sometimes we have people remote. So you have to use more online collaboration tools. So the product backlog becomes the sprint backlog, which is the committed items. Um, it's an ordered list of requirements. Um, the team, the development team, sets that or They break down how they're going to approach delivering to their committed um, backlog items in the sprint. And... Um, Ah, uh, considerations or risks, any dependencies, you don't want uh, links and dependencies, what kind of deadlines you're working to, what are your time frames in the sprint, and always, always, always um, make it focused on delivering business value. I apologize, I did see a quick question come up there, um, but I, I missed it. If you could just chat that again, I could have address it while we're here. I think it had to do with the uh, business requirements. So um, I'll continue until I see that again. Oh, here we go. Uh, thank you. Uh, I just saw this question. I just want to address it while it's here. Um, when do we expect the business team to validate that change? Do they do it in the next sprint? So should the real delivery take two sprints to go live. Okay, um, at any time during the sprint, the um, development team can reach out to the business. You do not have to wait for the review meeting. It is formally, the event formally in Scrum is the review meeting where you would demo and present your um, development to the business customer. But you do not have to wait for that review meeting. 
You can reach a product at any time. Um, you can ask them to engage the business at any time with you. Um, it, it, it's, it's just not that formulistic, okay? It's all that Scrum notes is that you do have a review session, but you don't have to wait until then. Because sometimes you don't want to. You want feedback sooner. So very good question. Thank you. I hope I answered that. Okay. Uh, IT security, uh, security. Well, um, they uh, oftentimes they should be part of the team. Um, if there are are high security requirements, then that needs to be under understood in what's being developed. So um, you're kind of getting into dev sec secops then, um, which is the development uh, development security operations coming together, and really that that underpins that. <laughs> DevOps and DevSecOps is based on this concept of Agile as well and Agile development. So it should be considered right up front as requirements. The final artifact we'll take a look at here is what's called a burndown chart. So again, a long line of being able to inspect and adapt and having transparency. Um, a very simplistic view is what's called a burndown chart. Um, and it the tool that we use um, here on the very top right you see ideal world <laughs> you see the uh, effort hours so you could do that in effort hours you could represent this in story points there's a lot of great samples out in Google land um, for different types of burn down charts but in its simplest Form, the team can estimate the number of hours um, that they're going to spend as a collective team in the sprint and each day they can record um, their the hour spent and so you kind of see uh, ideal line that's the red line in all of these charts and then in the top right hand corner you're seeing oh everything's going great okay however that's not real world so we've got other examples uh, the one on the bottom uh, somebody said that reminds me of my college days because they're going along, going along, going along, uh, not getting it done, and then all of a sudden, boom, at the very end, you're racing towards finish. And the idea of Scrum as well is not to kill yourself on these things, is that if you've got issues, if you've got timing issues, et cetera, to talk about them right in the, um, the daily stand-up so that you don't end up in this situation where you don't end up panicking to deliver because it's intended to be sustainable. You're not there for just one sprint. You, you need to be part of that team to really understand the benefits and, the, and to achieve the benefits of Scrum for at least two, three, four, five different Scrums that are planned. Um, so, so don't burn yourself out. That's what this one shows. And the one up here on the top left, what this is showing us, and some of you may have included this, is a couple of things. So one, just look at it um, explicitly, the team did not make their delivery goal. They, they, they didn't make what they committed to in that scrum. And sometimes that's okay. Sometimes they have gone back and renegotiated definition of done with the product owner, um, maybe broken a user story out. But it shouldn't be the intent or, or the um, fallback to not achieve uh, what you, you committed to deliver. Um, but it does happen, and it just it goes back into the product backlog. Um, however, what is reality in real life, especially when you're starting, is um, a lot of times people forget to update their burn down chart on a daily basis. So they might have actually delivered it, but they just forgot to, the, to update the burn down chart. Um, I've seen that too. So as, as they mature through a couple of sprint cycles, they start to understand the value of that burn down chart. Uh, once you've got this experiential data, then you can bring that into your next planning session when they're estimating their hours and, and committing to what they're going to be able to deliver. You can start to use some of this data moving forward. So that's three key artifacts, the product backlog, the user stories, et cetera. So who should update the hours of a burndown chart? The development team. This is their tool. 